Hello everyone, this is Alex of Venom Machine Support. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what a plug lock is and how to insert and remove these from the various style T handles and lift handles found on vending machines. I'm also going to show you how these operate or function when they're actually inserted into a T handle. Now, if you found this video useful, I appreciate if you could like and subscribe and make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps. Also, if you have any questions or ideas of videos that you would like to see, please leave a comment below. Let's get started. Now, I briefly wanted to explain to you what a plug lock is and how it operates. Now, this is your typical plug lock. Now, what it consists of is a dead bolt, which you can be seen here, that when the key is turned, it descends into the cylinder. Now, these can be known as a cylinder lock or a cam lock. Now, think of this very much like a doorknob. So when you turn your doorknob, the deadbolt descends into the door, allowing you to open it. And that's exactly what happens when we insert a key with this deadbolt here. So if I insert a key, I turn it, you can see the deadbolt descending into the cylinder here. And when we turn the key the other direction, take it out, the deadbolt has now risen out of the cylinder, and this is what prevents the T-handle from popping out. So how does this work in conjunction with an actual T-handle? So this is a typical T-handle out of a drink machine. Depending on the manufacturer T-handle, you may have one, two, or three little square holes. And this is what's important here. These little square holes here is where the deadbolt will pop through when we insert the plug lock. Now, typically, uh, most of the vending machines I've always operated on, this standard style plug lock will always use the hole closest to the actual T-handle here. So to insert a plug lock, you're simply just going to line up with your deadbolt with the hole it needs to go through. I line it up, and I'm just going to push this in. And hopefully I got it lined up right, which I didn't. So here I'm just going to continue to turn the key until I feel it click. And there we go. Now the deadbolt has popped out of the T-handle. So here at this point, I can't pull this out any further. Now to remove the plug lock from a T-handle or a lift handle, you're simply going to turn the key so the plug lock, or the deadbolt descends into the cylinder of the plug lock. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to push down on the deadbolt a little bit further, allowing me to pull the entire plug lock out. Now this is a lot easier to do when everything's disassembled like this. And, I, and later on in the video, I'm gonna show you how to remove your plug lock out of three different style T handles and lift handles. Now, how does this all work on an actual T handle? So this is actual T handle assembly out of a drink bending machine. So we've got the casing. So here is where the actual, if I can, if I can look in here, you can see this is, here is the actual deadbolt. It's right here. As a matter of fact, if I was to push down on that hard enough, I could be able to pop the lock out. So that's how it actually works. So the plug lock or the, the deadbolt in the plug lock, which is right here, is getting caught on this piece of metal that is right here. So again, how does this operate? If I was to take the key, insert the key, turn it, out pops the T-handle. Now you can see this, this is all spring-loaded because you've got these springs here that are pushing the T-handle out. Locks into place, key handle goes in, and that pops out. So here you can see how it actually works on an actual T-handle assembly out of a drink bending machine. So let me show you how to get these actually out of machines on the actual machines. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plug lock out of this Automatic Products 112 snack machine. This is gonna be for the 90 degree turn T-handles out there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this. I'm gonna take the key, Put the key in, turn it, T-handle pops out because of the springs. Now at this point, if you're gonna be servicing your machine or filling the machine, you're gonna to wanna to take your key out because you do not need the key to lock the machine. So you're gonna be able to lock the machine without the key. So keep a good practice. Whenever you unlock a vending machine, take your key out, put it in your pocket because you will no longer need it if you're gonna begin servicing or filling or stocking your vending machine. But in this case, since I want to remove the plug lock, I need to have to keep the key in there because I'm gonna use this to be able to pull the plug lock out. All right, so I've got the key turned all the way where I can't turn it anymore. I can't pull it out. So what I need to do here is I need to push down on the actual deadbolt, which is gonna be found right back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push down on the deadbolt with the screwdriver, and at the same time, I'm going to pull back on the plug lock, and out it comes. 
And again, what I pushed down on was this piece right here, which is the deadbolt. I just pushed it down to push it into the actual cylinder of the plug lock. Now you'll notice that if I turn the key and pull the key out, the deadbolt pops out. And why we're able to lock it whenever we don't need the key in there because of the shape here is basically when you push it in, this gets pushed back in to the cylinder head and then pops back out because it's spring loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the key back in to put this back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this so the deadbolt descends into the plug lock. And I'm gonna find the plug lock hole on the T-handle, which is right here. I'm gonna to try to line this up so it's kind of at an angle like this. I'm gonna push in and I'm going to keep going. And out here, I'm just gonna turn this until I feel a click or hear a click, which I can't turn the, this anymore. So I turn this back and the plug lock is now inserted. Now you can see, as I turn the key, the plug lock is descending back in there, in and out of the cylinder of the plug lock. And once you're done with like that, lock it back up. So that's how you're gonna remove a plug lock out of a 90 degree T-handle they typically find on snack machines. Now I've got the plug lock installed in this Crane National 148 snack vending machine. Older style Crane National machines would have these lift handles and it says you would put the key in, you would turn it and lift the, lift the handle up to unlock it as opposed to a T-handle that would pop out and then you would turn the T-handle and lock the door. Now this is a very old snack machine. You can tell by the color of the vinyl here. Matter of fact, this machine came out of a location that was full of empty promises and broken dreams. But to get the plug lock out, first thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and insert the key, turn it. It's going to allow me to lift the, t the lift handle up. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up a little bit further. And then now at this point, you can see the deadbolt right here. I'm turning the key so you can see the deadbolt as it rises up out of the cylinder here. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and insert the keys. I'm going to need that to be able to pull the plug lock out. Insert the key. I'm going to turn it so the deadbolt descends into the cylinder. I'm going to press down and I'm going to pull back on the plug lock. And out it comes. Again, here's the deadbolt on the plug lock. I'm going to turn it so you can see the deadbolt there. So to reinsert it, I'm just going ahead and turn the key so the deadbolt descends back into the cylinder. I'm going to line up the deadbolt with the notch, which is right here, line it up, insert it, and I'm going to fill a snap, turn it, deadbolt has rise back up. And now I know I've got the plug lock in. I should be able to lock this in without any problem. So that's how you remove a plug lock on a lift handle styled vending machine. Now here I have the plug lock installed in a drink vending machine. This happens to be a Dixie Narco 276C. So I've got the camera at an angle so we can see how we're going to remove the plug lock. Now on most drink vending machines, the T-handles will pop out and you have to unscrew them in order to get the door open. So you may have to turn the T-handle to find the deadbolt notch or the deadbolt hole. So let's go ahead and get this unlocked and put the key in. I'm going to turn it. It pops out. Now I'm gonna leave the key in here because I'm, I'm removing the deadbolt. Remember, you don't need the key to lock these machines. You don't only need the key to unlock it. So I'm gonna put the, the uh, key back in. Now you can see the deadbolt right here. Now if I turn the lock, the deadbolt will send into the cylinder. So I'm gonna take my little small flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna push it down onto the, the deadbolt, just pushing it back into the cylinder and I can pull out the plug lock just like that. As a matter of fact, there is the deadbolt of the, of the plug lock right there. So now, depending on how you turn this, there is no, there's nothing on the reverse side. So you may have to turn this depending to look for the, the little notch for the deadbolt, all right? So to get this back in, we're just going ahead and, and put the key in to, to send the deadbolt into the cylinder. I'm now just going to slide this in. And I'm going to try, and here I'm, I'm going to try to turn it. There we go, there's the pop sound I was looking for. And then there's the deadbolt. So I'm able to this and should go lock it right back into place. So that's how you remove a pl plug lock or cam lock or cylinder lock out of a T-handle found on a drink machine. 